Modular, EmboShield NAV6 Embolic Protection System. System Components. EmboShield NAV6 Embolic Protection System consists of two primary packs, the Filtration System Pack and the Retrieval Catheter Pack. The filtration system pack contains one rapid exchange delivery catheter, one bare wire workhorse filter delivery wire that is preloaded on the delivery catheter, one torque device, one filtration element, one loading funnel, one introducer tool, and one syringe with white flushing tip. The retrieval catheter pack contains one rapid exchange retrieval catheter, one torque device, and one black syringe flushing tip. System preparation. The EmboShield NAV6 Embolic Protection System can only be used with the bare wire filter delivery wire. Use of the system with any guide wire other than the bare wire filter delivery wire will lead to loss of filtration element during the procedure or an inability to retrieve the filtration element. Do not move the rapid exchange delivery catheter during loading. Movement may cause misalignment of system components. Fill the recessed well area with heparinized normal saline until the filtration element is completely immersed. Fill the provided syringe with heparinized normal saline. Remove air from syringe. To flush the delivery catheter, push the white flushing tip into the core of the loading funnel until it engages the internal diameter of the funnel. Flush the catheter lumen until heparinized normal saline can be seen exiting at the rapid exchange exit port. To remove any air bubbles from the filtration element, place the white flushing tip gently inside the filtration element and flush until all air bubbles are removed. Ensure the tray is on a level surface. Hold the tray securely with one hand. Unclip the torque device. Check that the torque device is securely tightened on the coating-free section of the bare wire. In a controlled manner, carefully pull the torque device to retract the bare wire. Observe the filtration element being retracted through the loading funnel into the delivery catheter pod. The filtration element is fully loaded when the distal marker band is at or inside the end of the delivery catheter pod and a definite stop is felt. Do not continue to retract the bare wire against significant resistance. Grip the black handle on the delivery catheter and the torque device out of the tray together. Gently pull them together to remove the loaded delivery catheter and the bare wire from the tray. Do not attempt to remove the delivery catheter or the bare wire individually. Using a sterile gauze pad, wipe the length of the bare wire with heparinized normal saline. The delivery catheter is now ready for use. Fill a standard syringe with heparinized normal saline. Remove the black syringe flushing tip from the tray and connect it to the syringe. Remove air from the syringe. Remove the retrieval catheter from the tray. Insert the black syringe flushing tip into the distal tip of the retrieval catheter. Flush the catheter lumen until heparinized normal saline can be seen exiting at the rapid exchange exit port. The retrieval catheter is now ready for use. Filtration element deployment. Catheter insertion should be performed slowly to minimize the risk of air entrainment. 
Failure to observe this may result in air being drawn into the access device through the TUI Borst valve or rotating hemostatic valve. Perform all device manipulation using fluoroscopic visualization. Use the introducer tool provided to pass the loaded delivery catheter and bare wire through the hemostasis valve of the guide catheter or introducer sheath. Notice the proximal indicator bands are positioned at 90 centimeters and 100 centimeters from the distal tip of the delivery catheter to aid catheter introduction. Advance the delivery catheter through the guide catheter or introducer sheath to a location proximal to the lesion. Advance the bare wire across the lesion. Position the three centimeter radiopaque portion of the bare wire in a suitable section of the vessel distal to the intended filtration element deployment site. Carefully advance the delivery catheter over the bare wire to the intended filtration element deployment site. Do not torque or pull back on the delivery catheter during advancement. Torquing the bare wire against resistance may cause wire damage and or tip separation. Before filtration element deployment, ensure there is adequate distance between the 0.019 inch step on the bare wire and the distal tip of the filtration element to avoid unnecessary contact during the procedure. Ensure there is adequate distance between the proximal tip of the filtration element and the most distal tip of any interventional device to be introduced over the bare wire to avoid contact during the procedure. 1.5 centimeters between the distal margin of the stent and the filtration element is recommended. Distal tips of the stent delivery system and the balloon catheter may vary in size and radiopacity. The tip of an interventional device should not contact the filtration element. Once the delivery catheter is positioned, the filtration element may be deployed. Remove the red locking clip from the black handle of the delivery catheter. Hold the black handle steady and pull back on the white pull handle to deploy the filtration element. Deployment is occurring when the distal marker band on the delivery catheter moves proximally away from the marker bands on the filtration element. Verify the filtration element placement and assess perfusion. Do not attempt to move the filtration element after deployment and prior to filtration element retrieval. Maintain bare wire position and remove the delivery catheter. Notice the single distal indicator band is positioned 15 centimeters from the rapid exchange exit port and the twin distal indicator bands are located five centimeters from the rapid exchange exit port to aid catheter retrieval. Open the hemostasis valve after the twin distal indicator bands become visible. Discard the delivery catheter after removal. Proceed with the required interventions over the bare wire. Filtration element retrieval. Catheter insertion should be performed slowly to minimize the risk of air entrainment. Failure to observe this may result in air being drawn into the access device through the TUI Borst valve or rotating hemostatic valve. Perform all device manipulation using fluoroscopic visualization. Do not torque the retrieval catheter during advancement. Advance the retrieval catheter over the bare wire. Notice the indicator bands are positioned at 90 centimeters 
and 100 centimeters from the distal tip of the retrieval catheter to aid device introduction. Advance the retrieval catheter through the treated lesion until the radiopaque catheter tip contacts the proximal end of the filtration element. Grip the retrieval catheter shaft close to the rotating hemostatic valve to hold the catheter position steady. Use the torque device provided. Grip and retract the bare wire until the proximal radiopaque section of the wire meets the distal end of the filtration element. Continue to retract the bare wire until the filtration element is fully enclosed in the radiopaque expandable tip of the retrieval catheter. Filtration element retrieval is complete when the distal marker band on the filtration element is within two millimeters of the distal end of the radiopaque catheter tip. Do not continue to retract the bare wire against significant resistance. Retract the retrieval catheter over the bare wire or remove the retrieval catheter and the bare wire together as one unit. If significant resistance is felt, retract the guide catheter or sheath, the retrieval catheter and the filtration element together. Notice the single distal indicator band is positioned 15 centimeters from the rapid exchange exit port and the twin distal indicator bands are located 5 centimeters from the rapid exchange exit port to aid catheter retrieval. Open the hemostasis valve after the twin distal indicator bands become visible. Discard the retrieval catheter after removal. Please refer to the instructions for use for complete information.